Good evening once again. After months of speculation, here on Front Page, OpenAI has finally launched ChatGPT Atlas, a bold strategic move that doesn't just add AI to the browser, but turns the browser itself into an intelligent agent. Atlas isn't a sidebar. It isn't an extension. It's a full-fledged browser built directly on Google's Chromium engine, the same backbone that powers Chrome. For the first time, ChatGPT isn't sitting on the sidelines waiting for you to copy and paste. It's actually living inside the very interface where work, research and commerce happen every day. If Chrome made the web searchable, Atlas wants to make it actionable. This launch isn't just another product update, nope. It's actually a power play that targets Google's strongest moat, the browser, and also its most lucrative revenue engine search. And the market has noticed. Alphabet's stock dipped within hours of the announcement, a reaction that signals just how seriously investors are taking this new challenger at the gateway to the internet. Atlas is built to collapse the gap between thinking and doing. You highlight text, he rewrites in nine. You open a web page, it summarizes or contextualizes instantly. You give it an instruction like, well, let's say booking a ticket, compiling a brief, comparing products or drafting an email. And it executes the task right there in the browser, not by opening another tab or redirecting to another platform, but by acting inside the environment where the intent originated. The decision to build Atlas on Chromium is as much about strategy as it is about technology. Chromium powers over 60% of global browsing, through Chroma, Chrome, sorry, Edge, Brave, and others. Instead of actually reinventing the wheel, OpenAI has entered the war through the front door, gall guns blazing, using Google's own architecture to compete against it. This move puts OpenAI in the most valuable real estate on the web, the starting point of user intent. Chrome doesn't just actually render pages, it controls where every online journey begins. That's the layer Google built its trillion dollar search empire on. And if Atlas succeeds, well, OpenAI could intercept intent before it reaches a search box. This is also why Atlas feels different from other AI-infused browsers. Google is actually Gemini in Chrome, Microsoft has co-pilot mode in Edge, Perplexity is reinventing, well, search itself. But OpenAI isn't trying to layer AI on top of the web. It's actually trying to make AI the web's operating layer. Every page, every input field, every tab becomes intelligent. ChatGPT reads, reasons, and acts in the same space you work without the friction of switching. It also introduces memory, a privacy-controlled optional layer that actually lets the assistant remember your sessions and contacts. You know, well, this isn't just passive cookie tracking. This is intelligent recall. What you compared, what you explored, and what you wanted to finish later. You can actually toggle it off, erase it, or, well, keep it on. Your memory, your control. Then comes the agent mode, the most ambitious swing. Here, ChatGPT stops being just a conversational assistant and becomes an autonomous operator within your browser. It can open tabs, log in, compare options, fill forms, generate briefs, and orchestrate entire workflows in real time. All of this happens inside your browsing session with guardrails, no local file access, no hidden actions, no black box. But this is also where the real test begins. Early testers have already actually flagged latency on complex tests. And when you're trying to replace, well, Chrome, speed isn't just an aspect which is, well, nice to have. It's actually everything. Chrome isn't just a browser. It's a habit built over a decade. For Atlas to work, it has to beat that muscle memory with performance, reliability, and trust. There's also, well, the question of adoption. Will websites adapt to agent workflows? Will users trust Atlas enough to let it act 
on their behalf will enterprises allow agentic browsing within corporate security frameworks? Well, these answers will shape how big this shift actually really becomes. If OpenAI succeeds, this won't just be the launch of a new browser. It will actually be the beginning of a paradigm shift from search to action, from clicking to delegating, from navigating to, well, orchestrating. As we all know, for 15 years, Google's Chrome has been, well, the undisputed starting point of the internet. Today, for the first time, there's a credible challenger, not another browser, but an agentic operating layer that sits right on top of the web. And it's built by OpenAI. You remember, right? Google winning that landmark antitrust battle, the one where regulators tried to rip apart Chrome, Android, and it's $20 billion Apple deal. Yup, Google walked away with everything intact. Ironically, it wasn't the lawyers or lobbying that saved it. It was actually AI. The very force built to challenge Google became the shield that proved it isn't a monopoly anymore. And now OpenAI is coming straight for Chrome with Atlas. And it's on the same battlefield that Google just defended. This was covered extensively by us here on Front Page. Please make sure to check it out if you haven't already. And while you're doing that, please also make sure to check out ChatGPT Atlas. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. For right now, we're going to take a short little break, but we're going to be back with a very exciting conversation and, well, how infrastructure is taking, well, a new shape in our very own Tengaluru. Thank you.